Hey guys, I'm Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, we've returned to Saffron City, as you can see, and we will be heading up to Sabrina's gym to see what all she's got going on for us today. Um, we took on Koga last time and did pretty well for ourselves, but I'm trying to remember, I don't exactly remember what the level gap is between this gym and that gym, so we will have to see how we do. Hopefully we can hang tough. If not, I may need to go to the sea routes between uh, Pallet Town and Cinnabar and get some training in. We'll see. There's plenty of trainers in here at least. Sabrina is young, but she's also our leader. You won't reach her easily. I mean, I think that's what the warp tiles are for. You know, that's the one thing about this gym that I think most of us either love or hate is the warp tiles. Ah, Hunter. Very spooky. I love Hunter's sprite in this one. But we have Gengar up front ourselves, so hey. It seems we're right about the same level, too, so. No, no. Not Confuse Ray. Come on, man. Come on, do it, do it. No! The Confuse. Yeah. Oh, he licked me. Come on, you can do it. No, maybe you can't. Come on, man. Finally, there we go. I knew we had him. Jigglypuff for a follow up. Okie dokes. Um. I'll just stay in. I don't really see that being all that threatening. Oh, right, we're so confused, though. That goes, I didn't, that, uh, my goodness, over that, then. But nice critical hit crab hammer. It's definitely odd to have, a, 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 you know, crab hammer be the best move on a ghost type. It's not a move you see very often. Alright, Grimer's up next. Still not all that concerned, really. There we go, shook the confusion. Sidebeam will be super effective. That'll help. There we go. Ooh, a crit too. Much better. Okay. A couple of bumps and bruises there at the start of the match, but no, but no big deal. Oh, well, I lost my concentration. Well, you guys are meant to be training for that, yes? Do we have any health items? Just the one, huh? Alright, I guess we'll have to be careful. Now, we came in on, what, this tile, was it? Was this tile we came in on? Okay, so bottom right is where we started. Uh, I guess let's go up for now. You know that power alone isn't enough. I do. I mean, I, I do, but like they always make such a big deal out of it in, the, in these games. It's just like, oh, you know, you gotta be friends with your Pokemon, and 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 you gotta. You gotta use strategy, and like that's that's not. I mean, the, the 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 strategy part is correct, but against most most I missed against most um, things in like the main story mode of the game, fighting gyms and stuff, you can pretty much just 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 brute force it as long as as long as well. I suppose they consider type matchups a part of strategy, so I guess that's applicable. But we've just like once you've been playing the game for any length of time, it's so second nature to do type matchups and all that that it doesn't feel like any sort of deliberate planning. It's just sort of like, hey, you just do this because why wouldn't you? You know. So maybe maybe that's just my experience talking because I've been playing Pokemon since I was a kid. So I guess it's just like, hey, you know, like you know, you should, if, if if they're using fire, use water or rock or ground. You know, like it's just. It's 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 not even a it's not even a question or or a, or um, something to think about. You just do it. You know what I mean? So maybe that's me. I don't know. Pokemon big on the appearance of their trainers. The other one must be tough then. Wait, they look like me? Uh, I don't think any of the Pokemon look like me. Uh, that I'm a lot scarier than I thought I was. Dratini. But yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I, I I I suppose they consider type stuff to be strategy and stab as well. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, that, that, that would make sense. Like 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 matching up a Pokemon's moves with its type for extra power. I, I, I guess it all falls under strategy, really. It just it seems so it seems so second nature that I don't even consider it that most of the time. But like, I, I I suppose it counts. 
I'm rambling, but that's what I do. So uh, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic one. And th thanks for being here for for the episode, by the way. Sabrina is younger than I, but I respect her. R e s p e c t. You know, good to have that for your for your boss. Kaboo jobs, very nice. Uh, it's gonna resist anything I got except for side beam. Ooh. You are a tough cookie, aren't you? This Gumbutops being a water rock type, he's uh, definitely durable. 36, nice. Need arena again. Okay. A return of the revenge of the. Vaguely porcine Nidoran. There we go. Not good enough. How are we level wise? 36, 35. Okay, let's switch out for Nessie then. Trying to keep our Pokemon from getting too shook up level wise, where it came in, isn't it? No, this is yes. No, this is yes. Yes, exactly. That sentence made, yeah, mm-hmm. No, this is yes. Saffron, <clears throat> Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for its psychics. You want to see Sabrina? I can tell. Dude, you don't need to predict the future to know that. Why else would I be here? Like, you come to gyms to win badges. To win badges, you must fight the leader. It's not prediction, it's just logic. Ooh, Polyrath. I guess, actually, you know what, you know, I guess it's fair enough. Uh, in this in this version, looking at this one, the, the, the eyes do pop out of his head. I, I was I was um, talking about this last time, how it was weird to me that Poliwhirl's eyes, like, pop out of its head and then go back in as Poliwrath, but in this early sprite, they do pop, they're, they're still out of his head. So you know what, I was wrong. In Gen 1, it, it did make sense. But then I'm pretty sure by, like, next Gen, uh, I, think, I think by Gen 2, they had put Polyrath's eyes, like, back into his actual body mass, I think. I thought I'm drastically forgetting what Polyrath looks like. But I was, I'm pretty sure. I'll, 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 I'll pop him up on screen there, and, 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 then, and, then, and then you guys will know. I'll, I, I, I won't know until after. <laughs> Arg. Arg. Argle Flargle. Argle me, Flargle mates. Is that not seen how to scare you? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we're doing okay for ourselves here. Jolteon. Good choice against Nessie, but lower level, but still. Um, tackle. Body slam. Disproportionate move response. Um, missed the sand. Ah, oh, no. Yay. Take that, sand. Well, 36. Primer. Well, we've already dealt with that before, but she can't see, so we will change out to Rodan. Cause he's got this. Shaking and a quake. So hopefully you guys are having a good week. Um, it's gonna be a big one. See, I'm 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 record. Ooh, Moltres. Ooh, big big ones. Um, it's gonna be a big week for 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 for, for the channel. We're doing a lot of Last of Us. Got the Pokemon DLC coming up for for um, Isle of Armor. We've got um. Last of Us 2 coming out on in, uh, near, near the end of the week. So hopefully you guys are enjoying all of that. I'm recording this on Sunday uh, before all that, all that goes down. So uh, hopefully it's all going well. Um, I'll probably put this out like Wednesday. Probably like like just before. Well, that's the same day the Pokemon comes. Actually, I think it's like, 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 like work, I guess. Put it the same day as, as, as Isle of Armor, I suppose. Um, I, 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 I have to say, though... Uh, Speaking of Moltres, I was looking at at uh, at the details, um, and I was pretty sure I, I I seem to remember 
uh, in the original reveal for the Galar forms of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, that it, uh, it was um, Ice Psychic for Articuno, Dark Fire for Moltres, and I could have sworn it was Electric Ground for Zapdos, but it's not anymore. He's flying fighting now. And that really kind of, like, made me a little bit upset because I, I go, go, like, Electric Ground is a cool typing, and it would have given him a, a, a with his with his attack power, it would have really done some cool things for him. So to have that kind of rolled back and make him into just a like 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 you know like it, it changed him from being like an, an amazing legendary stun fist into being a, a, an amazing legendary halucha, and we ha I mean halucha is already plenty cool as it is, you know. I don't know, just it, it, it felt like Electric Ground needed a cooler Pokemon in that typing slot than Flying Fighting did, because we've got, you know, you've got, you've got Halucha, you've got, I mean, Staraptor's almost a Flying Fighting type, you know, there's, there's, there's several that can kind of get into that category, a Braviary is almost a Flying Fighting type because, you know, they, they have access to close combat, or, 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 you know, and, and high attack powers and all that good stuff, you know, they don't really need the help. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was looking forward to, to, a, to a electric ground zap goes, personally. So, I gotta say, that, that, that kind of... It, it didn't kill my enthusiasm for it, but it definitely gave it a blow. Uh, I will say that I think my favorite um, of, of the birds now. I mean, I still I still like him design wise. Like the the angry Kiwi Zapdos is still pretty cool, but the typing definitely is not as 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 fun for me anymore. That said, Fire Dark Moltres looks you know you know like like, like the other two still look cool and have neat types. So I suppose there is that, but. I'm just complaining. Don't mind me. Grumbly old monster. Eevee! Oh, Eevee. Eepa! So cute. I love Eevee. Actually, this person's teams of our could almost be like our team. We, we have a Jolteon, we have a Charizard. They're like early days us. If you pull an Aerodactyl on me, then we'll know for sure. Arbok. Nope, never mind. You fail. <laughs> but yeah, so far, um, we're handling the gym trainers pretty handily. And uh, I uh, hope that means we're on par with Sabrina. I don't know how many Pokemon she has, so I'm not sure how many different Whip may. I, I guess we just do what we did last time. And just send out team members as as we go, but that gives us a lot more choice, though. Like, like part of the part of the fun, I suppose, of the claws we had, you know, where, where, where I believe Pokemon in the PC is need to choose which ones to bring with you ahead of time. You know what I mean? So it wasn't just a matter of like, oh, hey, she used this, I should switch up to this, and I, I can only change so many times. It was just like, hey, I may not even have this one with me, depending on what my choices are, but. Oh well. As long as we don't use more than her, I suppose it's not the end of the world. So I have no idea which warp panel she's got. Come on now. There we go. Well, we're already pretty roughed up as it is. Um, I think she's got at least three Pokemon. She's got like Alakazam and Kadabra and like Mr. Mime, I think. I honestly don't recall. It's been quite a while. Um, why don't we just leave with Renan and see how we do from there. I probably should heal these Pokemon. Although I only have one Florida store on me, so. Like, I just don't want to deal with these warp panels again. <laughs> Like, it's, it's a terrible reason to not go back. I just, I don't like the warp panels I never have. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. But there is no spoon. Shut up, you. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. 
And just, just, just imagine her just being like, everybody says that since those movies. There were spoons. That's four, actually. Okay. Malcolm wants to fight with the Rattata. I'm a teensy bit underwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so I'm speeding up. They're nerfing. They're like, they're, yeah. Focus energy doesn't work the way it's supposed to in this game. It's supposed. Ooh, super fang. It's supposed to uh, increase your crit rate, but it actually, like, removes your crit rate in this, in this game, I believe. It's a glitch or a bug or a whatever. Nino Queen, now we're talking. That's more like it. 37. Well, I am hacking this. It's not stab, but it is super effective on your poison typing. That should be no problem at all. Take that like a champ. Finish it off with a wing attack. Paris. Wow. She, I mean, aside from Nita Queen so far, her team is not very inspiring. Like, she she definitely did not. She 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 she, she can't she can't. Bleh. She drew the short straw as far as randomized things go so far. You know. I mean, that's potentially scary, based on what I give it to work with. Um, is there anybody I want to change to to, like, particularly give her problems with that? And see, that, that's kind of what I'm talking about, where, like, I, I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't have brought many hours because, well, I, he's pretty good, but, um, you know, if she has had, ha, has had any psychic types, it would render him a little, a little on the less useful side here. I still wouldn't use Charizard either, so I, I would have brought Nessie, uh, Nessie Mob... Tammy and Rodan, I think, is who, is who I would have brought. Um, so I'll restrict myself to using only them. Uh, not that it matters, we're already winning, so... Why don't we just leave with Rodan, it's fine. We're already faster. I don't know if he can tra Ooh, 43, wow. I don't know if he can transform if we're in the air. I don't want to, like, come down and find him a rock type, that'd be annoying. Why don't we just hit him with an earthquake first? Because I won't be able to use that in a moment when he's a flying type. There we go. So that definitely stacks the deck in our favor because he's already, you know, way, way, way weakened. I'm faster. Now we're about even, but I get to go full. No, he's faster now. That's right, because Ditto's uh, speed is pretty good. But he's already hurt. We get a crit. And that's about it. So we're going to basically single hand, sing single wingedly, I guess. Uh, rocks the gym. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I mean, I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. And you got some money, too. The Marsh Badge allows, makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Strong, strong, stronger Pokemon will, will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you as well. 46. It's Poison Gas. Because every gym leader in this game has to have some stupid move you don't want. Oi! Great. So I give him, I, I, I give my team indigestion. Go me. Once upon a time I knew I'm out of here. Like, I actually knew, like, which warp panel to go to. The exact route. But, like, I... It's, this is a long time ago. I don't remember that now. Uh, this one. Aha! Sweet. Okay, so that gives us six gym badges. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Blaine and Mr. Question Mark are all we got left. Um, so I suppose we'll be striking out for uh, Cinnabar on the bottom left there next time. I guess I could, I mean... I'm not sure if I want to like like do the the, the battles. All. I mean, I guess I guess I might as well. No, actually, well, because there is the the whole the whole mansion thing before you can get into Sea Blaine. So you know that's fine. That's plenty. Um, I'll, what, what, what I will probably do then is I will do some swimming between Fuchsia and the Seafoam Islands just to like get some training in, and then we will uh, 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 swing back around to Pallet Town, and I will uh, record. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll record both, but. In the actual next episode, we'll start in Pallet Town and swim down to Cinnabar, do do, do the mansion, and then we can uh, fight Blaine after that. So that should be fine. So I'll save right here. 
Thank you guys so much for being here. I do hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, I, know it's, I, I know those episodes are kind of short lately, but honestly, it helps keep keep my uh, motivation up because the long ones take more editing and such, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's just it's easier to find the time when there's a little a little, a little shorter, and it's easier to edit them too. So it just it just it just kind of works. Um, hopefully, it's not causing you guys any problems, and you're still having fun with it. And um, yeah, so. Um, you know, be, be sure to, to take care of yourselves because you're worth it. I hope you're enjoying the streams and content uh, uh, for this week. And I'll see you soon. For now, a monster mad out.